intentionally passed false information or lied um, in any way, knowingly. Could I have been wrong in the past about a situation too? Of course, I'm human. Uh, but I believed it to be true when I was speaking about it. I mean, can I think of a specific situation? Not really. I think that, um, but I have to acknowledge it because nobody's perfect. You know what I mean? So, how's everybody doing tonight? Let me say hi to a few people. Um, it's going to get nasty in here, just so you know. Tonight's not going to be um, my finest hour, but I'm okay with that. Hold on, I'm coming into the chat so I can say hi to a few people. Oh, and AJ has a new video. I did, oh, did you take it down already? I just think about playing it. Hold on, yep, she probably has to do it. Kiss my ass from the left to the right and back again. Those two are fucking deceitful liars. How dare they shame me a week ago as if I was attacking some sick man. I have seizures and I have never attacked anybody in the middle of having a seizure. Your body actually stiffens up and you usually go down. I've always fell down on the ground hard like a board when I've had seizures. So you don't attack people in the middle of a seizure. That's a lie. He fucking obviously attacked somebody in a domestic situation. And I don't rock with abusers. But would I ex expect anything different from Creston, somebody who has a friend who's a sex offender, who we all want to call him the off for that, right? Right, didn't we? But he can have somebody with sex charges as one of his besties. No, I'm going to call that out all the time, every time I see it. So, oh, we're going there tonight. And I'm not holding back. Granny's watching. You're an opportunist, lying snake, in my opinion. Your behaviors have been so much worse than Natasha's on YouTube. You are a despicable human being calling her out for the way she raises money when you have done the same exact thing. And if you're a Granny's fan, tonight's not your night in here. Mods, anybody who tries to come at me sideways about Granny's watching, show them the door. Because I've had it. You are not a good person. When somebody did a crank call to your house, you are so fucking offended. But you set up to put the person who violated me and my children's privacy up on your piano. You want to say I'm delusional? No, you're a fucking snake. And then you try to play dirt. Like, oh, so, I don't know what's going on. That's what you do. You pulled Kim up, what, to try and prove Alicia something? You didn't prove anything. What you proved is you're a snake who shows private messages. Because I don't agree with anybody showing private messages under any circumstance. You should show all of our private messages. I, you keep threatening it. Show it. Show it. Because people will see you lie. I never begged you to come on my platform to do your first live. I offered you my platform because my platform was bigger than yours at the time so that you can make the biggest impact like you wanted because you were so thirsty. Your hatefulness grew your channel. What I'm not going to do is join you in that despicable low life behavior to get growth. When I said I stand against abusers, domestic, or any type, I mean it. That's why I didn't put Save Robbie in my channel because he abused one of my friends repeatedly. And then you want to call AJ a liar? You're a champion? For what? For yourself. You're a selfish, greedy liar, just like other people on this platform. So if I'm going to call abusive creators out, it's your turn, Granny, because you are a snake. You can drive me all you want with your hateful talk and your aggression. I don't give a fuck. You got nothing on me. My hands are clean. Got it? Um, my life is great. Nobody's going to touch this. I own my own home, my own car. I got both my kids in my house. Um, I'm independent. I ran this channel as honestly as I could, and I have never focused on my sub to do things that would be popular for me. I don't sad fish like you do for money. I don't have every avenue available for people to send me their money. You're only in this for money. How dare you put up a wish list while you criticize Mama Knows Best for having toys up on a Christmas wish list. And I am going to unprivate that video again for you, Granny. I am, so everybody can remember how disgusting you were at the holidays. Why that was any of your business, I will never know. Just like you took Rosebud, um, Rosebud's fundraiser to get her father's remains back and made it your concern. But you never donated a penny, did you? Because you really don't give a shit about anybody else. Fight yourself. The people you surrounded yourself with, Granny, are the reason you're probably getting those calls now. It's probably the very people that are closest to you, and you can't see it. But the fact that you would put up a post saying that Natasha is saying the N-word or using racial slurs while you have Vivian around all the time, who did say the N-word twice on my panel? I still have the video. I think I'll be releasing that audio again so that everybody can really hear the real Vivian in her homophobic remarks, too, about how she doesn't agree with gay marriage. Does everybody need to rehear those? I think we forgot that we have a racist in the community. Well, I haven't. I don't fuck with Vivian anymore. The second she did that, our relationship completely started deteriorating because I couldn't be around somebody who had views like that. So don't call out other people when you have one of the biggest racists right next to you, who you are scheming with, all right? Because... You look pathetic, Granny. I really just have no love for you. Zero. Your behavior has been disgusting. Moderators, anybody who comes in here to try to be a pit bull for Granny, take them right out tonight. Just get them out of here. Because I don't want to hear it. You know what you need to be is an advocate for yourself. Because she don't care about you. Okay, go bring her some terrible news. You need help with something. See what happens. See what ha or go pull her up on some stuff. See what happens. Um, and Teresa, I don't know if you're in here. I'm so glad that you were able to work it out with Cassie. That really touches my heart. I'm so happy that that has all been um, squashed. And just move on. Just Even if you can't be around each other, at least just move in separate ways and you don't have to have any aggression for each other. Do you know what I mean? That's what I did. Granny, for what she was, I blocked her out of here because I don't want somebody like her around me. I saw the absolute disgrace she was turning into and I was so sorry. And I've learned my lesson from you, Granny, about supporting anybody who just pops up and not seeing what they have to offer as far as, far as speaking. People like Bees Plus, she's the one that should be blowing up. She's a kind, level-headed person. Hi, Navigator. I don't know if you're going to want to be in here. I know you've been um, advocating for Crafton, but I'm helicistic Crafton, and I'm going for Kim and Crafton. I really don't know the extent of his whole thing, but the fact of the matter is he was arrested, and we were misled. Did people send them money? Did they get money out of this community by misrepresenting what really happened? Because I've had seizures many times, and I've never laid a finger on anybody. Not once. What happens is you go completely stiff, and you fall backwards, usually. One time I even gave myself a concussion because nobody was there to catch me. Um, well, my mother was on the couch, but she was in her 70s at the time, so she didn't catch me. Yes, Beast Plus is an amazing. Can one of the mods drop her link? Um, she's the type of person you should be supporting. Somebody who wants to talk in an articulate way to call up on certain things that she sees that interest her, whether it's something for um, just a current issue or a subscribe. Uh, no, I'm sorry, a channel or whatever it is. It's not always just about one thing. Um, she's trying to cover different topics, and I really appreciate her. She's level-headed and approaches it in a way that is, in my opinion, very polite. 
and not too aggressive. But um, I felt gutted. I, I liked Crafton. Yeah, but I'm not surprised Graham and Crafton have done this again. This is what they've done over. Is that um, Beast Plus? Country Joe just dropped Beast Plus, guys. So if people can join us, that'd be great. Um, but Christiana is, Christiane is coming on tomorrow night. I've spoken to her a couple of times on the phone. I absolutely adore her, actually. She is from the East Coast of the United States. She's a Philly girl, and she's Italian, so I get her. Um, we have a lot of things in common. She um, was part of her church, Catholic Church. She was part of um, that community as I was growing up. Uh, she is a very big-hearted, sweet girl. So she just wants to be able to talk about, um, you know, some things that were told, said about her that are not true and just wanted a voice on what they consider a side. I don't consider myself on any side. Um, I just consider myself a lone entity, like I've wanted to be. And I stand alone on this channel. I don't um, team up. I try not to. Unfortunately, you know, as time has gone by, relationships have changed based on situations or incidences that had occurred. Like Vivian being a racist, homophobic, pathetic liar that she is. When I first met her, I thought she was a very honest person um, up front. But what I'm finding is she is not well. She's obsessive and she gets stuck on a topic or a person. And it's looking crazy to me if you want to really want to know. Like, some of the videos, her attacking the Pope and calling him an M Epper, she is attacking my religion. I am not okay with that. Um, I'm Catholic. Other people have other religions. How would you feel if a channel owner attacked the head of your church like that? It's disgusting. And nobody should be tolerating that. I really am so confused on what things have turned out to be. And what are, are people standing up for now? Um, what is going on here? This is ridiculous now. Hold on one second. But even the attacks on Alicia, I just didn't think anybody proved anything against Alicia. I didn't. Alicia is a people pleaser. She wants to be friendly with many different people. I didn't see anything so nasty in those text messages that both of them display, which I don't agree with sharing private text messages ever. Um, I don't care. if I mean, the only way I would share it is if I needed to get out of a murder rap or something. That's how serious it would have to be. I know you won't get bored, but honestly, is it worth it? You literally support these, those that lie, manipulate, and very dangerous. And, oh, nobody, no. She was just asking me a question. She wasn't rude. You're gonna, but uh, I won't back down. Go talk to Lindsay and Lindsay's channel. That's the most respectful thing I can tell you to do. Um, so, yeah, sorry, Country Joe. Just if they're coming in here trying to, you know, be Granny's pitbull, because we know her, her mods now uh, are very much behaving like, that's okay, Granny. I mean, I'm Country. Her mods are behaving uh, like pitbulls. And it's ridiculous. Get a grip, people. Granny's got a mouth. Let her use it. She's got a platform. It's not like she doesn't have a voice. What's wrong? Why are people going around and fighting for her? Give me a fucking break. Get a grip, people. It's YouTube. You're taking it too seriously. Go get a job, a hobby. Get the fuck off of YouTube. But we're all allowed to have opinions without people coming in and being aggressive. Uh, you don't see me going over there and typing and doing anything? No, I don't. You don't see anybody from my channel doing it either. If one of my moms did that, I'd have a huge problem with it. I don't want anybody to go around defending me. I got it. You know why? Because I have a platform and a voice, so I can do it for myself. Um, hi, Preach Queens. Good to see you, honey. I popped in at Outback's um, video. You guys, your time, because of the difference in time zones. When you guys are coming on, it's like the wee hours of the morning for me. So never... She can't stand her. She's bashed her for a very long time, if you want to be truthful. I don't like anybody that bashes that poor, murdered, pregnant woman. Because that's not victim only, Jane. That's you being a jealous, pathetic person. Shanann was a go-getter. She was not a perfect person, of course, but victimology is talking about the dynamics of the marriage. Why did it get to the point where he didn't feel like he could talk to her? That's it. It's not about going into every aspect of Shanann's life. Do you know what I mean? That's not what it's about. Um, and criticizing everything that um, Shanann did. That girl was a go-getter. Her house was in good condition. Her children were well taken care of. So anybody that will sit there and mentor and entertain the, the ridiculous conspiracy that somehow Shanann had CPS involvement, that's ridiculous. How ridiculous can you be? Come on. Why would she have CPS involvement? And then trying to say that it was up on the refrigerator. So not only did Shanann have CPS involvement, but she displayed the paperwork up on the refrigerator. Mm, no, that didn't happen. Sorry. Yeah, she was amazing. She was a hard worker, a great mom. She loved her husband. And it's a terrible thing. What happened to Shanann? Terrible. And the poor girls. I mean, come on. For anybody to focus on that, it's because when some women are so jealous and petty and petty about other women, they can't help themselves. Did you guys ever ask yourself why Jess and Melissa Jade fight like that? Or they argue? Or You know what it is? It's just as jealous of Melissa Jade, how pretty she is and stuff. And that's the truth. And I'm still going to say I don't agree with the sex panel, because I don't. Um, and everybody that participated in it was at fault. But I am going to say there's much more to that dynamic than people will know. And that's the truth, too. But let's go, because, uh, Granny, I find it very hypocritical that you would have come up. What, you're not going to say anything about their lie? You're not going to take them to task? No? No, because you're driven by hate. You only hate Natasha. And that's the truth, Granny. You don't stand for truth or because you feel like something that's happening in a community is taking advantage of subscribers or could be abusive towards a subscriber because you do the same exact thing. You're posting wish lists for crap. Should we pull up the wish list? Is anybody curious about the wish list? Ha has anybody taken a chance to go see it? Because if you look at Mama Don't Stuff, it was toys for children. And then we don't want those children to be too spoiled at Christmas. Oh, really? How much did you get at Christmas time? Because you took Emmy's $150 that he meant to get to Mama Knows Best, but couldn't even send it to her email because it's just not a thing. She wasn't set up for that. Right? You took that 150. You didn't see that as a conflict of interest? I would have never taken that. Oh, you didn't know Granny has a wish list up? Yeah, with her Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, constantly being dropped in live chat. So don't call out other creators for the way they raise money when you are doing the same exact thing because it's not going to work. I understand some creators want to cut out Super Chats because they send an Amazon wish list, yes, because the Super Chats send 30% to YouTube. But I'm sorry, YouTube is allowing you to have this opportunity for free. And that's how you compensate them. I think the percentage is high. I will say that 30% is a big cut. But they do deserve some compensation for the opportunity they're giving you too. I know they're a huge corporation, but literally we have this opportunity for free. 
you know what I mean? So when you're cutting out YouTube, I think that's against terms of service, to tell you the truth. What's fair is fair. If they're giving you a free voice, I mean, you got to compensate them. Um, let me read a few, Meg, that's too funny. I just thought that very nice person. My name is Trish. Is her, hers out? I don't know what Meg said. Hold on, let me go back up. When Granny just pulled him in and allowed him to be in there and she was an inch channel, you really think AJ was going to stay around a person who completely dragged her for 10, 11 months? No, she wasn't. Oh, I can't stand liars a thief. She's both nothing but a predator. Well, I mean, there's a lot of liars going around lately, huh? I mean, to see that Poison Ivy knew that that Natasha account was a clone, but, Natasha, but Granny went and created a video saying that Natasha's using the N-word or some racial slurs. It was a clone account, but they all knew already that that was a clone account. Good, I'm glad you don't hate anyone, T. Adams. I'm, I'm starting to feel a little sorry for Natasha, to tell you the truth. Even during COVID, and she really does have COVID, Christine told me, and I believe it, she looks like crazy. I'm sick, right? Um, people still couldn't just leave her alone. I have stood down and left her alone because she's sick. When are we going to look at her as a human being who's going through uh, a serious health issue? Oh, but we were supposed to tiptoe around Crafton and accept this lie? Oh, no. And she's in Kim's... Let's look, go look at Kim's post. Well, maybe I, I'll read it because, you know, Kim's dirty. She'll try to strike me. I would feel more comfortable playing one of Natasha's videos right now. In fact, let's go to Natasha, um, the Reclining Queen channel, and see what you put up. I, Natasha, if you'll ever see this, please do not strike me. I really would appreciate it. I'm showing this to um, show the truth. And I'm sorry if people can't wrap their mind around that, but I am always going to stand on what's right is right, what's true is true. Period. And Crafton and Kim are disgusting human beings. I don't care if he was somewhat sick. You told us half a fucking story, and I hope nobody gave them money, because I'm not even believing the seizure story now. I'm not. Uh, I think a domestic violence situation happened, and they turned it into, he was in the middle of having a seizure, because if he was in the middle of having a seizure, he wouldn't have been arrested. They don't arrest people who are in the middle of a medical emergency. No. Not believing it. And they're no liars anyway, so, I mean, let's be honest. Let me share my screen, and then I'm gonna play this video. My Jerry is at my door. I gotta get him in bed. Oh, later and later he stays awake. Although he does get up, so. All right, done it, and we said it's not real life because they're public documents. Well, in the United States, all arrest records are public documents. All police reports are public documents. If you wanted to call a police station to get a copy, it's very easy. It's available to people through the Freedom of Information Act. Anything you want to find about any individual in the United States is easy to find. Very easy. We are not protected like other countries when it comes to privacy. Um, our medical records, those are protected under the HIPAA, but those even leak sometimes, unfortunately. Um, but her showing this, why is this wrong? But it wasn't wrong for any of us? No, so what's fair is fair, guys. And what's good for me is good for anybody else. So if I'm showing public records, she has the right to show these very public records. If they had just said, guys, we need to take a break from YouTube. We'll let you know when we're going to be back. See you later. That would have been fine and dandy, right? That's all they needed to do, Clinton Crafton. But instead, they wanted to come up like he, he had this huge medical. No, there was much more to it. And now I don't believe anything they have to say. And they can suck it if they don't like it. Because they, they want to sit there and dig and cause drama. Prop Mrs. Portland up to lie on me like I'm this, this thief of wish list who wants to help people by stealing their wish list. That doesn't make sense. Who would steal somebody's wish list to post it? That's helping somebody. That's so stupid. They're so blinded with their own hate for other people. They make poor decisions. And that's the truth. Yeah, listen to this. Now my dog's barking. Go to Hawaii. I'm going to grab my gun and go check it out. All right, yo. Kim put up a post. And that post is right here. And it talks about Crafton and how sick he is. And don't know if he will ever speak or think again or move. Um, that he's the love of her wife. And she doesn't know how to think about life without him and what it will look like. And... You know, basically making all of us think that he has been at death's door and, um, you know, just all right, I whatever. Clear the scene. We're good. Well, I've been suspicious for a bit. And I've been suspicious well, because I was very suspicious, too. And I have been hearing people, people who emailed me and just hearing from other people saying they don't know, but all these well going on for at least what, almost a week. Because a lot of people were questioning what they were saying about the seizure and what the side of because I've had many seizures. And it just didn't paralyze me or hurt my speech or anything. You feel like shit. You feel like you've been in a car accident. Your muscles hurt because of the stiffening and the, the shaking. And I bit the shit out of my tongue. But uh, I never lost any of my mobility or speech. So, and then even when he popped up on Lala's panel and they shut it down, that first dream, the no holds bar. Is that how you say no holds bar? Bar? I don't know. Who cares? Um, he was speaking. I thought he had to be retaught to talk and walk. That's the dramatics of it, right? It couldn't be we just need a break. They didn't have to say anything or give any reason. They had to turn it into this whole medical emergency and not be completely transparent. So I really question all of it. And that's the truth. Like, it's ridiculous the level people are willing to go to to um, lie on here and get sympathy. If you weren't going to tell the whole story, you don't tell us a little portion of the story. So could there have been some seizure involved? Possibly, but it definitely didn't paralyze him where he needs to learn to walk and talk. No, that's just, I mean, that's so real for it to have that type of effect. No, I'm not buying it. And this is what I'm talking about. You shouldn't have said anything. I think Jessica is a troublemaker and a liar. She's attacked people who have needed help, like Rosebud. You, Rosebud didn't owe Jessica any receipts. Nothing. If you weren't going to contribute, how about you mind your fucking business? How's that sound? But if anybody questions her, oh, jeez. Oh, my God. Hell breaks loose. Too bad, Jessica, because now I'm going to start calling you out as a problematic, greedy, lying creator, because that's how I feel about you. I think you're motivated by money. How dare you drop your links in your live chats constantly and a wish list, but have any issue with Natasha? What's your issue with Natasha? That she is aggressive towards people? Well, so aren't you? You're quite aggressive towards people. You are very aggressive. And now you're releasing private communications. Uh, I really find you to be quite problematic. Granny's watching. I can't stand you, quite frankly. Quite frank. Quite frankly. Yeah. I almost put a different, another syllable in there. Oh, 
I find you to be a problem. I actually find you to be worse than Natasha. Much worse. Natasha, the level of pushback she's gotten from many channels has been extreme and intense. And I'm telling you, Granny, people have your number now. And those amounts of channels, that same amount, are going to be created about you. It's already starting. You are a problematic creator. You're greedy. You are a user. How many times are you going to pull Hemi up? Huh? How many times are you going to put him on panel? And I don't want to say out loud, but when he has had a few drinks and he's throwing money at you during every single live chat, tell that man that he's given you enough, that he doesn't have to buy your attention. Tell him. Wasn't $150 that was meant for Mama Knows Best enough for you from him? But it wasn't, was it? You should have never taken that money, especially because you were the one who was laser focused on it. It was toys for children. And you attacked it and had zero, zero intention on buying a $10 Bobby from it. You did it even before she dropped the link. You and Alicia were criticizing it, taking screenshots, emailing screenshots around. Yeah, people told me and showed me, Jessica, and you did. You were so obsessed with calling out Mama Knows Best. For, at the holidays, you caused this huge uproar over children's wish list. But you have a wish list for your junk. It's all for you. You're a hypocrite. That's what you are. I'm going to create a wish list for myself, guys. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make it with all the identical stuff you have, Granny. Okay? Let's see if that's okay with you. I'm going to start dropping my cash app. I don't have PayPal, but I'll get one. Venmo, I think that, is that through Facebook? I don't know, but I'll figure that out. And I'll just start dropping it in every live chat. That's e-begging. You're a beggar. Your sad fishing is disgusting. And I'm not the only one that thinks it, Jessica. You sad fish over and over and over. What is, no, and I'm going to say this. Yes, you wanted to say something about Dorian? Well, I would have custody of my children. Really? You really have the audacity to say that? You don't know what her situation is. You believed a video you saw. Right? So I'm going to take it a, foot, uh, a step further. And I don't give a fuck what you think, Granny. Do you have rent to pay? Do you have your own utilities to pay? Are you living in your own home with your children alone? This independent single mother that you're portraying? Is that the truth? You seem to think you know the truth about other people. Screenshots of when this was made and they don't. I was like, because of the hate you kept launching at her, calling her a con woman. You're a con woman, Jessica. You came out pretending to be a right fighter and you're dirty as the day is long. I actually feel sympathy towards Natasha now after witnessing your tactics and what you're capable of. But people have hate bonded with you because you do hate Natasha. I don't hate her. I don't know her. I've always said I don't love her. I don't hate her. I know nothing her. Natasha is just somebody that came to my attention, um, primarily because a few people have come over to my channel that she had yelled at. And then I started looking more closely at it. So, oh, let's see what this person has to say. Come on, let's see. Listen. Oh, defend another creator. She has a platform. She can go live and clap back. We know she's not shy. And you can sit there and play the victim, Jessica, like you always turn yourself into the victim. People have suffered real swatting. CPS being called with the caseworkers show up at their homes. Welfare checks where the police show up. And what you turned YouTube into over a crank call over this past weekend is problematic for me. The fact you played that out loud and now you think you know for sure, for sure who made it. I don't know who made it. Does it sound like one person? Yeah, but it could sound like uh, thousands of people that are from her part of the world, which is Spain. So it doesn't prove definitively who that was. I just don't agree with that. But I'm not motivated by subscriber numbers. But don't put the subscribers in a tough spot. Well, if you truly do stand on a side of truth and what's right is right, no matter who's involved, take the names out of it. If it wasn't Granny's watching and it was another individual we came across on YouTube and saw that exact behavior, would you be okay with it? Don't be a fucking hypocrite. Have somebody who's racist and homophobic in your channel every night on your panel and then try and say Natasha is making racial slurs when you already knew that was a cloned account. And even Kim and Crafton is somewhat involved in that. Because Kim, uh, Natasha proved by showing messages that Crafton had bought the domain to her channel name somehow. I don't know. But the beauty of YouTube is yes, uh, now moderators can click on bubbles to see where that channel is. So any moderator, go click on a bubble and you'll now be able to see at the very top, go to channel. So you can check immediately if it is a clone or not. That's the beauty of it all right now. Um, we all know she's living with her parents. We all know it now. But don't play like you're a struggling single mother because there's some real fucking bitches out here just that are living that life who do have that struggle. And you're not one of them. I'm responsible for my rent, for my electric, for my water, for my internet, for my children, on my own. That's my struggle. Don't fucking take it from women out here who are living that life. And how dare you even insinuate you know what's going on with DeLorean? Please. In her custody? Oh, so you believe the video? And to me, that's a deal breaker. You fucking comment on the custody of my children and you will never speak to me again. Ever. Ever. I don't like you, Granny. I think you're a snake. You're selfish. You've misrepresented who you are, what you're about, and what's going on with you in your life. If I was living with my parents, I would never, ever portray it to be anything else than that. Ever. Oh, you didn't have to be called my father. Um, no, I would assume that's the house number. That's really the truth. It's the house number. So just be transparent and honest about that. You cannot be dishonest on YouTube because your past statements, you've already tripped yourself up. Oh wait, please watch the short clip. Where is it? But it really pisses me off if someone's going to play this struggling single mother paying rent and utilities and car insurance and you know my vehicle maintenance, uh, taking my kids to every single one of their dentist and doctor's appointments. That is a struggle for any woman living alone with children. And my oldest son is 21, but he's still my child. So I still care for him. I support him. He's starting to fill out applications and he's trying to stay clean. I am praying for that boy. Believe me, and I'm here to support him every step of the way. I did get the girlfriend out of the house. So that is a good thing. Oh my God. Don't say she hasn't been around long enough to matter, Bethany, because that's not very kind of you. Country Joe is a friend of mine. She's been here for about a month and a half, two months. I think that's long enough. She saw the stuff that's going on. Usually Country Joe, if another creator is being brought up and she feels uncomfortable, she just leaves chat. That's how she handles it. She doesn't want to take sides. I get that. I would never want her to take a side. But um, Country Joe does 
which she feels comfortable with. Um, dot from IG. Okay, email. Oh, okay, let me get in there. I'll go look right now.